Welcome back to episode four of our Five Items Ninja Challenge. I am Mrs. Freiberger, a gifted and talented specialist for the San Antonio Independent School District. I have been thinking a lot about the five items I originally started with. I had my coffee, a box, and a book all taken from me by a bold, mean ninja. I don't know what he is doing with the items, but I am ready for him this time. I have a hose to make sure he doesn't take any more items. This should work. Haha. <laughs> when he took my book last week, I realized all of the innovative ways I could have used it. Remember, we said that innovation means that you come up with unique and creative ways to use things. Obvious or common uses are definitely not innovative. As you know, books are generally for reading, but I could have done so much more. I could have practiced balancing the book on my head to practice etiquette. I could have torn the book apart to build a fire or to make some origami figures. You could hollow it out and hide your treasures, or you could even plant little plants in it. A book could be used as a doorstop, or a stack of them could be used to prop up a table if a leg is missing. Or why not make an entire table out of stacked books? My parents used to use a stack of telephone books as a booster seat for me when I was a little kid too. What did the ninja take from you this week? What are at least four innovative ways that you could have used that item? Post your response in your DT classroom. Wait, what's this? Give me $10 or the blanket is next? What? No way! It looks as though the ninja was innovative with the, his use of my book. He cut letters out to make a ransom note. I wonder why he wants $10. I refuse to give in to bribes. Forget it. No, 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 no. Take that. My blanket. 